All right, we're working on a uh, Dart Little M. <clears throat> really good block. Most of the Dart products are really good blocks. You could pour a tremendous amount of horsepower into it. Just for instance, a Little M like this, uh, you're talking about a, a 9.010, uh, call it 9-inch deck height. Uh, this particular engine, uh, we went ahead and we put a 3.600 stroke in it, and uh, we reduced the rod journal down to a uh, Honda rod journal, make for a uh, really cool engine uh, for 155 bore. So I believe that comes out to be somewhere around 390 cubic inches. Even when the blocks come from Dart, we go ahead and we check them and we verify because uh, we want to make sure that uh, in relation to the deck surface that the quench area or the top of the piston um, is all equal to the top of the deck. So uh, this happens to be an aluminum rod motor with a bore of 4155. We'll target roughly around 17 to 18 thousandths uh, uh, for the top of the piston surface in relation to the deck. So we have some numbers we went ahead and uh, put one piston, one rod in each of the four corners of uh, the deck surfaces here. And what's nice is we're using the one piston and one rod pretty much as a standard. Uh, so therefore, there's no variance. Uh, it's the same piston in the four corners. We'll take it out. We'll change the rod 180 degrees and put it back in. So we'll reference always We'll be referencing on this area even when we turn pull it up turn it around flip the rod on it we'll be referencing this area on the piston although it'll be over here so um, that keeps our standard our tool of measurement which becomes the piston and this rod this piston and this rod as a tool of measurement so we verified that here we got 0315 029, 0325, 034, and I'll come around this side of the block. We have 032, we got 035, difference of three thousandths here. We got 030, and we got 036. That's a difference of six thousandths. So what happens here? Why is it that there's so much variance in these decks? Okay, you got a couple factors here. You got a production line which produces these blocks of which sometimes you have the tooling that gets worn a little bit. Does it make sense for Dart, Rodex, or other companies to go ahead and check their tooling? They should. Are they going to chase it for the difference? They're not going to. So you got some wear and tooling. Um, which sets up the block so that the deck is cut straight across. In reality, it should be perfect. All these four numbers should match, and they don't. Okay, you have the casting, and you have the settling of the casting too as well. Okay, and that changes over some time, and that can distort or how they um, house or rack this block or uh, store this block could change too as well as it's still curing. Most of the foundries, once it comes out, it'll go into the process of decking and it will settle. So you'll get some of this. I personally feel over time in building these engines, uh, 30 plus years, is that um, it's in the tooling, all right? Um, if it was me, I probably wouldn't bother because we know it's going to go into an engine builder's hands and this is the proper method which should be taken to verify what the decks are and to correct it. And the machine we go into, our machine is a Comec I-1000. Uh, it has a stationary bar which is parallel to the head that cuts and it's going to automatically true it front to back. It's up to us to tilt this accordingly split some of the differences here to get this block trued up. So that's our next step with this block. This is a little M block. We're going to be decking it. It probably took us about, yeah, we probably got about an hour into it to verify the decks, maybe a little bit more by the time you're in with the crank. 
twerking a couple main caps, getting a rod and piston set up, verifying the decks. But it's something that's uh, necessary, and it's something that we do. So uh, I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in. And uh, check us out, Ols Performance and Machine, 1-800-382-1320. Give us a call. Uh, if you got a project going on and you need some advice or you need some machine work done or you even need parts, uh, there's probably no better place in the world to come to than to us. We know what we're doing. Uh, you want to make power. You want reliability. Uh, give us a call. Once again, one 800 382 1320. Thanks for tuning in. Like and share on Facebook. Uh, tell your friends about our company. All right.